Hello friends, this video on Air Around Us Part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So that was all about oxygen. The, the next gas that we will talk about is carbon dioxide. So this is another important gas. However, it is present in very minute amount in the air. So it is present in very small amounts. 0.03% of the air is made up of carbon dioxide so which is a pretty small percentage so if you look at its structure molecular structure you'll see there is one carbon attached to two oxygen atoms it is again a colorless odorless gas no color no smell it is water soluble and occurs naturally in a river lake sea water now since it is soluble in water so in all the water bodies it is present by default now the question is how do we get carbon dioxide? So how do we get carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Is there any such process where we actually see that carbon dioxide is being produced? So there, there are such processes. One such process is burning. So we saw that for burning to take place they need oxygen. So the process of burning will happen only if oxygen is there. So oxygen is like a need for burning to take place. But when the burning process takes place, carbon dioxide is produced as a result of the process. Now, for this burning to take place, it needs oxygen. Oxygen is needed for burning. And as a result of burning, what happens? Carbon dioxide is produced. Now, this carbon dioxide, which is produced, Carbon dioxide is not the only thing that is produced. Normally, uh, when you stand near fire, where, where somebody is burning something, what happens? How do you feel? So if you stand very close to it, after some time, you start feeling suffocated. Why do you feel that? Because of the smoke, because of the dust, because of carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide also gets emitted along with the smoke and the dust as a result of burning. So this is one way by which carbon dioxide is added to the atmosphere. Respiration releases out carbon dioxide. Now when we breathe in, so till now we spoke only about breathing in. We said that we need oxygen, so we breathe in oxygen. What about breathing out? The moment we breathe in, we also breathe out, right? So that means when we are breathing out, what, what are we giving out? So all that we are giving out is carbon dioxide. So that way also we are adding carbon dioxide to the surrounding air. Now carbon dioxide is released not only by human beings but all other animals. So that, that's another way by which carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. Even the fishes, they, they, what do they do? They also with the help of their gills, they take in oxygen and from the wa water and they also give out carbon dioxide to the water and that's that's how carbon dioxide is present in water now the question is where is carbon dioxide needed so carbon dioxide is present in very small amount in the air and we saw the processes by which carbon dioxide is produced in the atmosphere but why do we need it do we even need it yes of course we need it carbon dioxide is very crucial you know why? Because plants need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. So what is photosynthesis? Let us first understand this. So photo, the word photo means light. And the word synthesis means to prepare. So photosynthesis is the process in which plants prepare their own food. So plants prepare their own food in presence of light so that is why it is called photosynthesis that means to prepare in presence of light so plants are those living organisms which can prepare their own food and now you might ask that even i can prepare my own food i can prepare a bro bread toast for myself i can prepare uh, anything i want for myself i'll go to the kitchen i'll take the vegetables fruits and i'll start preparing it now the question is from where do you get the vegetables from the plants from where do you get the fruits from the plants so basically you are preparing your food just to make it more tasty and more edible but actually you are getting your food from plants right but who is giving food to the plants nobody so plants are preparing their food 
on its own and the process by which they prepare their food is called photosynthesis. Now in this process of photosynthesis plants need carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So plants take in carbon dioxide from the air. Now without carbon dioxide they cannot do photosynthesis and if plants can't do photosynthesis what will happen? Plants will not get food. Animals will also not get food because all other animals are dependent on plants for their food either directly or indirectly. So let us look at this example. So these plants they take in carbon dioxide, they undergo photosynthesis, they prepare their own food and they survive. Now these plants in turn are eaten up by other animals for example cows or goats or horses. So these kind of animals they eat plants directly. Now there are many animals which eat these animals for example lions or tigers. So they eat animals like goats or cows or something. So that means these animals are not directly dependent on plants but indirectly they are dependent of plants. So if plants do not survive, these animals will not survive, these animals will also not survive. So it is very important that plants should survive and for plants to survive they need food so they need to perform photosynthesis so they need carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is again very very crucial. Without carbon dioxide all the living organisms organisms will not get their food. Now when we talk about this uh, use the role of oxygen and carbon dioxide in plants and animals we see that plants and animals are very much interdependent they are very much dependent on one another. Now you know how how are plants and animals dependent on one another let's have a look. Now these plants Plants perform photosynthesis, right? So, as we discussed, that, that, that's the process by which they prepare their own food. Now, during photosynthesis, what do they do? They take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So, that's what they do. So, they take in carbon dioxide. And as a result of photosynthesis, what happens? They give out oxygen. So, the process of photosynthesis is such where carbon dioxide is used up to produce food and along with food oxygen is also released. So as a result of this oxygen will be released into the atmosphere. Now what about animals? So if you look at any of these animals, these animals will undergo respiration within their body. Now as a result of respiration, they will breathe in oxygen, they will take in oxygen. So the oxygen which was released by the plants, the same oxygen is taken in by the animals. And as a result of respiration, when they breathe out, they release carbon dioxide. And this carbon dioxide can be utilized by the plants during photosynthesis. So that means there is a relationship between the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between plants and animals. Now please do remember that photosynthesis is a process that happens only in plants because they can only prepare their food by this process. But respiration is a process which happens in both plants and animals. So even in plants also respiration happens. So in plants how respiration happens inside each and every cell they also need oxygen so they utilize some part of oxygen and then the respiration keeps happening the food gets converted into energy and all that. So if respiration is a common process to all plants and animals but photosynthesis is specific to plants. So here we see that how plants and animals together they maintain the right balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the environment. So plants take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and animals give out carbon dioxide during respiration. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.